Alrighty, hopefully it's focusing. See this thing right here? It's a GoPro mount. It doesn't have the adhesive, so we're gonna head over to Walmart and see if we can get a new one. Should have bought them on Amazon. They're a lot cheaper on Amazon. A little bit of this. Best oil there is, brother. Sage Riders National is one of my all-time favorite races for a couple different reasons. One, we are Sage Riders, we're part of that club and it's awesome, super fun to be able to put on a race and depending on the year, sometimes I work the race, sometimes I race the race and uh, this year I actually decided to go race it. So got my bike ready, um, just washed it, kind of did oil filter, normal thing. I did put an IMS tank on, bigger tank, it's been sitting in a box for a little while. so. Got that all ready to roll. We're gonna hit the road now. Actually, I'm gonna go home, eat some lunch, pack my clothes, jump in the truck. My mom's actually um, going this weekend. My dad's been down there all week working on the course. And so um, my mom and I are just gonna jump in the truck, drive down, and uh, we'll be there soon. Well, we made it to the pits, just drove straight here. It takes like two and a half, maybe three hours to get here from our house. So I unloaded my bike. I've actually still got to do a little bit of bike maintenance. Um, I have a new tire that I'm gonna throw on. My dad has been out here all week with the motorhome, had the tire changer in there. So anyways, I try. I try and get all my stuff ready as early as I can. I try every weekend that we go racing and it just never happens. I'm always doing bike maintenance like last minute, night before the race, morning of the race, it's just how it goes. So try your best, but trust me, I feel you if you're, if you're still working on your bike like race day, it just happens. It's just a lot of work to ride dirt bikes. So we're gonna change a moose bib out here in the desert right now. Well, we're out here at the infamous Sage Riders Dune Start. 
and holy smokes it's so pretty out here right now with the sun setting so we start back there you might be able to see it way in the distance so we start clear back there at the farthest set of banners all the way out there we race across the grass into the dunes we have a banner right there and one right over there that's hard to see. We have to go in between those two and we hit the dunes. Come right up through here. All across all these dunes. And then we race clear out there to that next set of banners out there. And then I think the course is going to make sweeping left all out across the dunes. I think we have about five plus miles of sand. Pure sand dunes all the way until we head back up into the mountains into the trees so i'm thinking of starting pretty much in the middle of the start coming up over the dunes right there and then it's going to get kind of tricky because i want to get on this ridge that i'm standing on right now so that i can come across here and then stay on this ridge that's by that's for sure going to be the fastest point from here but i got to get to here and i know where i'm going to go to get to those dunes i'm just debating if i stay right over here and come up the side right here or if I try and drop down, hit that double right there and do a little little supercross double in the middle of the dunes and then come right up this gully right here. It's a nice smooth transition. Jump over this hill, land down there. We'll decide, but we're gonna keep walking for now and just enjoying the sunset. Saturday race day now got some sleep I woke up at like 6 30 so uh, I would have slept a little bit more but I just woke up so I uh, went and got signed up uh, my bike's ready to go I'm just eating some food I got oatmeal I just had a yogurt I'm gonna eat some bananas possibly some eggs keep hydrating and that'll be most of my fuel for today so it's gonna be a good day. We'll probably go walk the start again. Walk the start last night. It's awesome. It's my favorite desert desert racing start in all the uh, in all the sand dunes. So it'll be really interesting because I really like it because it has really good visibility. And then also, um, it's not very one lined. Like mo once you get to the sand, um, guys will be going all over the place, going different ways, taking different lines, trying to see what's faster. So. Uh, yeah, I've got some lines picked out there. It's gonna be a good day and we've got like 80 plus miles of Cherry Creek racing. So we'll uh, keep on moving through the race day. It should be awesome.
all done with the race now. That was one tough hare and hound. The start was awesome. Again, when it comes time to execute the dead engine start on the four stroke, I've been practicing it for a, the last couple months since I didn't get that good of a jump at the Rhino Rally in February, so I've been practicing it. And I know what I need to do and just hit the electric starter with no gas, but when it gets all amped up on the start line, it's hard to hear. And again, I just, I, I think I cracked the throttle a little too early and so my bike didn't light up very quick. Wasn't that worried about it though because I knew that once we got into the sand, things were totally gonna change. So I had my line picked out, but I, it was way crazier than I expected as far as people going different directions. I thought most people were gonna kind of maintain a general direction through the sand, but everybody was going all over the place. And so it was crazy, but um, I jumped into the sand section right next to my brother and he hit it so hard. I think he had knocked his feet off the pegs and he biffed it. I didn't know if he crashed or not, but I saw it out of my peripheral and then going through the sand section all the way to the second set of banners, I made a lot of passes. I was hammered down. I got to the second set of banners probably in like sixth place, seventh place, somewhere around there, top, close to the top five. And then we headed out onto the sand. The first five or six miles was sand. And as we were heading out, um, I started kind of putting the pressure and getting closer to the guys up front. And I knew I would be good in the sand. Um, I, I just, I really like sand and I knew that I would be strong in the first couple miles just because I really like that terrain and that I just wouldn't have the, um, that's right where we crossed, right over there. I wouldn't have the stamina to maintain that, that top pace for the whole day. So anyways, but we got in the sand and I was in fifth and I, we were running the pace and kind of settled in and about a half mile went by, maybe a mile, and I knew that I was able to ride as fast or faster than the guys right by me. So I actually made some passes and got around, got around Clayton Gerstner, and got around Joe Wasson, got around Preston Campbell, all these guys who I knew were gonna be, I mean, just smoking me later in the race. But uh, at least through the sand section, I was able to kind of go fast and, um, it was pretty fun banging bars through the dunes. It's just such a cool place to race. And then heading out into the trees, 10 or 15 miles in, I knew that I had just totally depleted a lot of my energy. I mean, I, I used most of my energy trying to battle through the sand and, and get up front when I really shouldn't have because I knew that either way, if I was up front or not, that I wouldn't be able to sustain that, that pace for long. And it really just, um, depleted my energy and I just started getting really uh, started kind of hitting the edge of fatigue super quickly and my um, my heart rate was just maxed out and I knew that there's no way I was going to be able to sustain that so I kind of had to reevaluate uh, reevaluate my strategy and kind of just really just back it off try and recover my heart rate I had to let those guys around me and Pretty much the rest of the day, I, I just cruised and pretty much rode my own race. I dropped a lot of positions, fell back a lot, but I had fun. I mean, I always like racing out here and I'm in kind of in a different stage now where the only person that really holds up expectations of me is myself. And so I just want to race the way that I want to race and make sure that I'm having fun each weekend. And so hopefully that's a entertaining race weekend with the Knights. So thanks again for watching and we will see you guys in the next one.